All right, so what I've got here is uh, Mac OS 10.7 Lion, and uh, I'm going to be showing a, an issue that I found, I think, in the QuickTime 10.1. Um, so if we go ahead and uh, just open up a movie file here, it's just a normal MP4 video. It uh, happens to be an episode of Twit. Um, nothing odd here, no... No, it's just a normal video file. It's not intentionally coded to break the player. Um, I'm pretty sure this happens with almost all, if not all, videos, at least on my system. Um, if I go into full screen and then proceed to quit QuickTime, which I'll have to just kind of pause for a second here. Um, since I'm using QuickTime to record this, I need to actually stop the recording Okay, so all I did was quit QuickTime um, just directly from, from the menu bar at the top and, and or hit Command Q. And then I've uh, reopened QuickTime. And with Lion's Resume feature enabled, uh, it should basically go back to doing exactly what it was doing before. And you can see that it almost does it. Um, we are definitely in some weird full screen... Uh, area here, uh, as the white back, white gray background might indicate. Um, but the the video is back to being normal sized and in a a window within this full screen environment, um, and is perfectly draggable and and uh, and usable to a certain degree. You can you can play it, but uh, definitely not not desirable. And if you were thinking, oh, well, why don't you just resume it back to full screen? No, not so much. It disappears. It exits full screen mode and disappears into a black, a black hole, basically. Um, and the only way that I found to get it back reliably is to quit QuickTime at this point and then reopen QuickTime. And you'll see the, the video will return to its normal window state. Except for one minor thing, um, it may be missing its control bar. Um, if that happens, then you close the video. Um, you don't necessarily have to quit quick time to do that. Uh, and then just reopen the video and it'll be back uh, with the control bar in place. Um, one other thing, while the, uh, while the video is hidden in this kind of broken state, if you go to view and then show clips, and I won't do this right now, again, since I'm using QuickTime to record this, um, this will actually cause QuickTime to panic and and become non-responsive. So I'm not entirely sure exactly what's going on here, but uh, definitely doesn't seem like uh, desirable behavior by any means. So. And so that's my QuickTime bug.